bro, this is it's Özgün here. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make future rave tone bass lines, and we are gonna use serum for that. And also, you can use the kick drum. I thought I showed you in one of my previous tutorials, but today we are gonna cover how to make the rhythmic uh, tone bass lines for the future rave tracks. And if you're ready, let's get into that tutorial. Okay, guys, I quickly prepared some stems for the sake of this tutorial. First, I'm gonna show you how it sounds like without any bass line on it. Yes, it's pretty basic, just several steps, several drums. We have a descent lead and MIDI. Only thing left is to make a descent bass line to it. So we are going to need two separate layers for the rhythmic tone bass lines. One layer should cover all the sub frequencies. It's always like this. Just cover your sub area perfectly. It should be really dancing and balancing with the kick drum and the sub of the kick drum, of course. And then it's best if you can cover some of the upper harmonics from the bass and the sub region and we are gonna do it now and after that you just need some tone layer and it's gonna be a separated layer for the sub uh, i'm gonna show you how to create some uh fat sub bases just go so let's go analog be the sign so i'm gonna use a sine wave because like the sine wave is the purest and the best hearing sub bass ever you can use others as well for example the square is really sound good if you are working in a low key such as c or b or c sharp something like this but now our midi is in e if the key is e is a safe key so I, I can just use a sine wave in here i can change the waveform of it the more i change it's gonna be a bit more harder so let's send it to here call it sub I'm gonna do it in here because I wanna see the ghosts. I'm just creating a pattern like this. Sounds good, let's don't forget to sidechain it. And I'm gonna mute the list for now. So the sine wave is always good, but let's work this guy just a little bit and see how it's gonna affect the sound of it. It's gonna make it a bit more distorted and it's gonna sound a bit more analogous. So in the future rave, we are just combining some of the techno sound, tech sounds with the big room vibe. That's why it's good to use some analog sounding synthesizers. So it's... See how the sound is transformed but we are not there yet we have to just make some envelope it's gonna be start harder than it's gonna reduce in terms of volume with this envelope and we are feeling the moment vibe after that we can just use some filter on it and let's give it a bit fatness and drive I think it sounds good, but now if you want to cover some of the upper harmonics, we can always go basic shapes here and choose the soul wave and let's blend the signal just a little bit until we get satisfied. Don't forget to turn on the filter for the oscillator B as well. Maybe we can do it like this. Now it's in the correct octave. I hope you remember uh, to find the correct octave. You can always go check it with span. Like this, I'm not covering my sub, but with, I'm covering the sub frequencies. The other way to just determine 
do it overly and it's gonna sound like a fart. So you know you gotta use one octave up from the fart. It always works. It's always worked for me. So the sine wave is gonna be minus one and this is going to be like this. So it's gonna cover the upper harmonics and I'm gonna just blend the signal just a little bit. So let's check with span again. Again, I'm putting to the same octave. It sounds to be better to my ear. I think it sounds really nice now. So we are covering the sub frequencies and the one octave upper and some of the harmonics, which is just enough for us. Always you can balance with checking the waveforms. If you don't have proper speakers or a sub bass or you don't want to use your headphones, you can always match your kick and the sub with just checking the waveforms. Right now my kick, let's say, is hitting one, two, like two from the middle so my sub should hit two from the middle as well so either way you can volume up the sub or you can volume down the kick but in this case i'm gonna just saturate my sub just a little bit with an overdrive i'm gonna give it a bit overdrive and now they are in the same balance but now i'm just gonna cut the highs because the overdrive is gonna give so much unwanted upper frequencies And now we just created a really perfect sub bass. Let's check with span. They sound really decent now. Now you can just adjust and tweak as much as you need. For example, we can give it some mono legato. Maybe I can give a bit more freedom from here. And the problem is we are not getting the second note of the sub. So we are getting E, but not getting the second E. So I'm just going to boost it from here. And also we can give some of the distortion from here. Hard clip or soft clip, up to you. Even you can go uh, tape saturation as well. It's becoming the upper harmonics more hearable. So why I'm working on the sub that much? Because it's the fundamental of the track. If you have the perfect kick and bass, your track is like half finished. By the way, if you don't like the upper harmonics in the upper region, you can always go post equalizer here and you can cut the highs. Sounds good. Let's balance it one more time. Now it sounds more decent. Let's hear how they sound in everything in the track. Okay guys, to make the tone bass lines, 
We are going to need a sub, so we are gonna change it something like a percuss percussive sound. I'm gonna go basic shapes mini in here, and I'm gonna go to the sign one. Let's put it to next track. Sounds nice. It's not that complicated. All we need is a filter like this. And we are going to need no sustain because it's gonna be just a click. So I only need some decay. Something like this should work. And we can create another one. So it's gonna be so small. We are gonna put it to here. It's gonna change the pitch so fast. So we hear like the thump, like a kick sound. So without it, just a bass with it, you get the vibe. Also, you can connect this one to here and you can click Alt Shift. So it's going to change the position of it and you can use it like this. It's just perfect and you can make it in really quick. Sounds good. You can make it perfect with a bit more work. I'm just gonna cut the loaves of it. You don't need to cut it all the way up. So just make sure it's not phasing and canceling each other. Other than that, you are fine to layer them from here. Okay, let's hear how it sounds. For the MIDI, let's turn on the leads. You are going to place the MIDI either way with the kick because you have a sidechain, you just cut the super subs, you layer them with the subs, so it's not gonna be a problem. You can use it like this. And you can make some octave moves. So I think this MIDI is like completing the drop lead MIDI. It's not like fits like a puzzle. Yes, I think this can be useful, like this. Let's sidechain it, because uh, we have to. And also, I think we can give it a bit of the saturation, a bit of the overdrive. Let's check with the LFO tool. Depending on the other elements in the track, you can cut the highs and make it like a low tom. Or if you wanna get the transients of the tom, you can always leave it like this. And another small tip with the toms, if you dip the 500 hertz area, it's gonna sound better, in my opinion.
like it's uh, making it more tight and also giving more space to the other elements in the mix. So let's hear how it sounds with everything. Alright guys, today I showed you how to make the Future Wave Tom Rhythmic Percussive Bass Lines with using Serum and we created our own sub, our own percussion Tom sample. I hope you can apply this to our own productions too. Today that was it. Thanks for watching guys, see you on the next video. Bye bye.